Streetball basketball is one of the only environments on the planet where disrespect is strongly encouraged by everyone involved. On any given basketball court, you'll probably find someone getting called a female dog, getting chewed out and then stood over in front of their entire city. They endure bodying the living crap out of their opponent with more ferocity than a red-eye charger. So, with this hostile environment comes some of the most disrespectful scenarios you could possibly imagine. And I've compiled them all in this video. These are Streetball's 20 most disrespectful moments. But first, run that intro. Put it on my soul. I don't want no end outs, I'll do it on my own Trouble as a team, skipping class like they songs I get down to my last, then I'm running in your own Mine's blowing up my phone, trying to see where I'm at Alright y'all, before we get into this video, if you hit that subscribe and like button, it would really mean a lot. We're super close to the 25,000 subscriber mark right now, and I really think that we can hit it soon. Also, follow my Instagram, at DocUpYT, so you can stay in touch with me and see the behind the scenes to these videos. And let me say a quick disclaimer so I don't get pushed off a roof in the comment section. All moments and plays I showcased in this video were found either by me or by my research team. It's obviously impossible for us to have perfectly looked through every single streetball game in history, as we're literally just some dudes, so there is a possibility that we missed a couple moments. If this is the case, please recommend some plays in the comment section. Also, do not take these rankings as law. Every clip I'm showcasing is insanely disrespectful, so I just compiled them together randomly. When this video is done, let me know in the comment section what you think is the most disrespectful moment. And without further ado, let's get into this video. Coming in at number 20, we got Devontae Friga vs Victor Oladipo's long lost brother who didn't make it. In this moment, Victor Oladipo's long lost brother is talking trash to Friga. Friga then decides to point at him, say thanks for my title, and then hit the game winner in his face. Hey, let me get game down there. 11-7. I'll give him the ball. It's a turnover. Hey, give me the ball down give there. Give him the ball. Game play. Please, hey, I got it down there. Yeah. Ask him if he won't game like he gonna hit it. Hey, game. Game. Hey, and by the way, thanks for giving my title and my thumbnail right here. Game time. And I told you, get off the court. Get the f off the court, too. <laughs> That's the type of disrespect that makes a man start playing football. Coming in at number 19, we got Bone Collector vs Flight Reacts. If you don't already know, Flight Reacts is known as one of the worst basketball players in the YouTube community. Well, honestly in the entire world, but YouTube community more specifically. Bruh. On the other side, Bone Collector is known for his insane dribbling ability, and his name is Bone Collector because he literally breaks so many ankles that it's dang near a collection at this point. Imagine putting a 33 overall against a 99 overall, and you get this. Oh my god! <laughs> What the fuck? Flight. Flight, man. Flight, come on, bro. Coming in at number 18, we got K Showtime on Cam Wilder. Now, the backstory to this game is insane. K Showtime, who's from Canada, invited Cam Wilder, who's from America, over to Canada for a streetball game as a guest. Then, after Cam Wilder pulled up, K Showtime proceeded to repeatedly embarrass and demean him in every way possible in front of all of Canada. Again, Kim Wilder was his guest. This might be the worst hospitality I've ever seen. Back to America. Blick him. Blick him. Fucking blick him. Weak. 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 Game right here. After this game, Showtime left Cam to the point of tears. And to make it even worse, while Cam was crying, Showtime started a quote unquote who I smoke Cam Wilder chant with Cam right there. This is one of the most disrespectful things I've ever seen. Hey wait! Hey wait! We're gonna we're gonna make a song right now and I say who 
Coming in at number 17, we got The Professor vs a bunch of prisoners. I'm not gonna lie, this entire moment was for a good cause. The Professor pretty much did this for charity and it was all in good fun. But when you really think about it, the whole story of this is wild. The Professor just walked into a prison, sauced up all the prisoners, recorded it, probably made like 10 bands off the video, and then just walked out of the facility and continued his freedom. Meanwhile, everyone he crossed up stayed locked up. Dang. One. Coming in at number 16, we got LaMelo Ball dunking on YouTuber Jester the Laser. There's no backstory to this, it's just hilarious. Coming in at number 15, we got Slim Reaper dunking on Alfred Payton if he cut his hair. In this video, Buzz cut Alfred Payton hits a crazy three, and Slim feels some type of way about this. So instead of just letting him have his moment, he jumps up, uses all of his might, scratches his back with the ball, and then completely bodies him, flexing on him right afterwards. Coming in at number 14, we got Flight Reacts for Mikey Williams. Honestly, this entire game was disrespectful, so I'm just gonna play a highlight reel. Mikey won this game 30 to 1. 30 to 1. You could have at least let him get the 5 or something, like, gosh. Oh, not 30. Coming in at number 13, we got Bone Collector again, but this time he's almost making YouTuber Cash Nasty have to pay an extra medical bill. Oh, oh my no! 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 You stop that! Hey bro, I ain't never seen you get broke so bad, dog. Coming in at number 12, we got flight for Saluminati. Man, I feel so bad for Flight, bro. He's all over this video. <laughs> but at the time of this moment, Flight and Saluminati were beefing for around a year. They then decided to play a 1v1 to settle it. Saluminati bet Flight reacts over a thousand dollars cash they wasn't gonna be able to score. Let me clarify that. The bet wasn't that Flight was gonna win. All he had to do was score one point. Literally, all Flight had to do was score once, and he would get a thousand dollars. And I'll just let you see what happened. Coming in at number 11, we got Tristan Jazz versus Random Trash Talker. So this dude was talking trash to T-Jazz before this play. And so, in retaliation, 
TJS decided to break his ankles so badly that everyone just stopped playing for the rest of the day. Hey, you going off? You on? All right, guys, we got done hooping, hopped in the sprinter, and came back to the hotel. Coming in at number 10, we got DC Heat versus the entire hood. Once again, the storyline of this video is the real disrespectful part. Man's dressed up as a nerd, acted like a nerd, and then pulled up to random hoods and dropped everyone off. Tough. First off, I'd like to say my name is Edwin. I'm 15 years young. Uh, I take great pride in my sportsmanship, and I absolutely love shooting hoops. Coming in at number 9, we got K Showtime again. In this video, Showtime went to someone else's park in someone else's neighborhood and proceeded to take it over completely, disrespecting everyone he possibly could. Just watch. Oh shit! You can't go me! No shit! You can't go me! You can't go me! You can't go me! You can't go me! Give me that shit, nigga! Give me that shit! Give me that shit! Give me that shit! Turn up, boy! Turn up, boy! Turn up, boy! Oh. Hey. This is my court! This is my court! This is my court! So I come to his hood and take that shit over! Give me that shit! 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 Watch out, nigga! Keep laughing me, bro! You crazy? Coming in at number 8, we got T-Jazz making Aiden Ross look like a preschooler for 15 minutes straight. I'm gonna cut it up for y'all so you only see the highlights though. Hit that like button. <laughs> bro, what the f up, bro? He didn't break me. Bro, what the f bro? Hell no. What? Bro. This is your trick. No. Bro, you, what the f Coming in at number seven, we got NBA superstar Kyrie Irving dressing up as an 80 year old man and just cooking the general public. Oh, uh -oh. Hey, oh. You turned up, young blood. Coming in at number 6, we got Hezzy God absolutely destroying Chauncey, one of the most respected hoopers in the game, and celebrating after every possession. Coming in at number 5, we got Slim Reaper bullying Chris with the wrist. If you don't already know, Chris is who helps me out with my research from time to time. So Chris had to research himself getting dunked on. <laughs> I'm sorry Chris, I just had to throw this in there. Coming in at number 4, we got Clamp God telling a dude he sucks, throwing the ball away, and then driving by him for the dunk. Hey, hey, we can't win! 
Coming in at number 3, we got the professor dressing up in a Spider-Man costume and making people look silly. Imagine getting dropped off by a dude who can barely see out of his costume. Shaking my head. Coming in at number two, we got Austin Mills dropping a dude to the floor in two different angles, making the whole gym throw a riot. Let's go, put it on. Hey, start the hole, Jabo! Start the hole, Jabo! Start the hole, Jabo! Coming in at number one, we got Iman by himself singing in his car, smoking a blunt without saying a word for 30 seconds. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had you, I had you, I had you. And coming in at number one, we got a dude getting so hyped at a basic defensive stance. I don't know why he got this hype. Like seriously, I don't know why he got this hype. That he flat out picked up and dropped Nick Briz on the floor. Honestly, this was just straight up assault. I don't even know if this is basketball. This is just assault. Alright y'all, that's gonna be it for Streetball's 20 most disrespectful moments. Let me know in the comment section which moment you thought was the most disrespectful. Before you leave though, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Let's try to hit the 25,000 subscribers. Also, be sure to follow my Instagram, at DocUpYT, to stay in touch with me. This has been another episode of DocUp. I hope you guys enjoyed. And without further ado, I'm out. Peace! Hey, my mama blew a hundred thousand dollars in the 80s. Went back broke by the time that she had a baby Tried to teach me lessons on how to get money and save it But I ain't listen I had to show up in the latest 10th grade Getting every Jordan release like they was palace Now I'm grown so it's foreign cars and diamonds to make them statements